The Holy Land Hebrew, Erez Hakwodz Eretz HaKodesh, Latin, Terra Sancta, Arabic, Alard Almkudst al Ard al Mukadasa or Aldyar Almkudst ad Dyer al Mukadasa is an area roughly located between the Jordan River and the Mediterranean Sea that also includes the eastern bank of the Jordan River. Traditionally, it is synonymous with both the biblical land of Israel and historical Palestine. The term usually refers to a territory roughly corresponding to the modern state of Israel, the Palestinian territories, western Jordan, and parts of southern Lebanon and southwestern Syria. It is considered holy by Jews, Christians, and Muslims. Part of the significance of the land stems from the religious significance of Jerusalem, the holiest city to Judaism, the historical region of Jesus' ministry, and the site of the Isra and Miraj event in Islam. The holiness of the land to Christianity was part of the motivation for the Crusades, as European Christians sought to win back the Holy Land from the Muslims, who had conquered it from the Christian Byzantine Empire. Many sites in the Holy Land have long been pilgrimage destinations for adherents of the Abrahamic religions, including Jews, Christians, Muslims, and Baha'is. Pilgrims visit the Holy Land to touch and see physical manifestations of their faith, confirm their beliefs in the holy context with collective excitation, and connect personally to the Holy Land. <inaudible> Judaism Jews do not commonly refer to the Land of Israel as Holy Land, Hebrew, Erez Hakwades Eretz Hakodesh. The Tanakh explicitly refers to it as Holy Land. In only one passage, the term "Holy Land" is further used twice in the Deuterocanonical books. The holiness of the land of Israel is generally implied in the Tanakh by the land being given to the Israelites by God. That is, it is the promised land, an integral part of God's covenant. In the Torah, many mitzvah commanded to the Israelites can only be performed in the land of Israel, which serves to differentiate it from other lands. For example, in the land of Israel. No land shall be sold permanently. Lev. 25 to 23. Shemitah is only observed with respect to the land of Israel, and the observance of many holy days is different, as an extra day is observed in the Jewish diaspora. According to Eliezer Schwed, the uniqueness of the land of Israel is geotheological and not merely climatic. This is the land which faces the entrance of the spiritual world, that sphere of existence that lies beyond the physical world known to us through our senses. This is the key to the land's unique status with regard to prophecy and prayer, and also with regard to the commandments. From the perspective of the 1906 Jewish Encyclopedia, the holiness of Israel had been concentrated since the 16th century, especially for burial, in the four holy cities. Jerusalem, Hebron, Safed and Tiberias, as Judaism's holiest cities. Jerusalem, as the site of the temple, is considered especially significant. Sacred burials are still undertaken for diaspora Jews who wish to lie buried in the holy soil of Israel. According to Jewish tradition, Jerusalem is Mount Moriah, the location of the binding of Isaac. The Hebrew Bible mentions the name, Jerusalem. 669 times, often because many mitzvah can only be performed within its environs. The name, Zion, which usually refers to Jerusalem, but sometimes the land of Israel, appears in the Hebrew Bible 154 times. The Talmud mentions the religious duty of colonizing Israel. So significant in Judaism is the act of purchasing land in Israel, the Talmud allows for the lifting of certain religious restrictions of Sabbath observance to further its acquisition and settlement. Rabbi Johanan said that, "...whoever walks four cubits in Eretz Yisrael is guaranteed entrance to the world to come." A story says that when R. Eliezer B. Shemua and R. Johanan Hasadler left Israel to study from R. Judah ben Bathira, they only managed to reach Sidon when, "...the thought of the sanctity of Palestine overcame their resolution, and they shed tears, rent their garments, and turned back." Due to the Jewish population being concentrated in Israel, emigration was generally prevented, which resulted in a limiting of the amount of space available for Jewish learning. However, after suffering persecutions in Israel for centuries after the destruction of the Temple, rabbis who had found it very difficult to retain their position moved to Babylon, which offered them better protection. Many Jews wanted Israel to be the place where they died, in order to be buried there. The sage Rabbi Anan said, to be buried in Israel is like being buried under the altar. The saying, His land will absolve his people, 
implies that burial in Israel will cause one to be absolved of all one's sins. Christianity For Christians, the land of Israel is considered holy because of its association with the birth, ministry, crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus, whom Christians regard as the Savior or Messiah, and because it is the land of the Jewish people according to the Bible. Christian books, including editions of the Bible, often had maps of the Holy Land considered to be Galilee, Samaria, Judea. For instance, the Itinerarium Sacrae Scriptura travel book through Holy Scripture of Heinrich Bunting 1545 a German Protestant pastor, featured such a map. His book was very popular, and it provided the most complete available summary of biblical geography and described the geography of the Holy Land by tracing the travels of major figures from the Old and New Testaments. As a geographic term, the description, Holy Land, loosely encompasses modern day Israel, the Palestinian territories, Lebanon, western Jordan, and southwestern Syria. <laughs> Islam In the Quran, the term Arabic, Alard al Qudst al Ard al Muqaddasa, English, Holy Land, is used in a passage about Musa Moses proclaiming to the children of Israel, O my people, enter the Holy Land which Allah hath assigned unto you, and turn not back ignominiously, for then will ye be overthrown, to your own ruin. Surah 521 The Quran also refers to the land as being blessed, Jerusalem referred to as al Quds, Arabic, al Quds, the Holy has particular significance in Islam. The Quran refers to Muhammad's experiencing the Isra and Miraj as a journey by night from al-Masjid al-Haram to al-Masjid al-Aqsa, whose precincts we did bless. 17 one A hadith infer that the farthest masjid is in al-Quds, for example, as narrated by Abu Huraira. On the night journey of the Apostle of Allah, two cups, one containing wine and the other containing milk, were presented to him at Al-Quds Jerusalem. He looked at them and took the cup of milk. Angel Gabriel said, Praise be to Allah, who guided you to Al-Fitra the right path, if you had taken the cup of wine, your Ummah would have gone astray. However, some modern scholars argue that the farthest mosque was a building or prayer site just outside Medina. The present building of Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa in Jerusalem had not been built in Muhammad's day, and the Quran does not contain any other reference to Jerusalem, apart from the reference to the change of the Qibla from Jerusalem to Mecca. Jerusalem was Islam's first Qibla direction of prayer in Muhammad's lifetime, however, this was later changed to the Kaaba in the Hijazi city of Mecca, following a revelation to Muhammad by the Archangel Jibril, by which it is understood by scholars that it was in answer to the rejection by the Jews of Muhammad's prophetship. The exact region referred to as being blessed in the Quran, in verses like 17-1, 21-71, and 34-18, has been interpreted differently by various scholars. Abdullah Yusuf Ali likens it to a wide land range including Syria and Lebanon, especially the cities of Tyre and Sidon, as Zujaj describes it as, Damascus, Palestine, and a bit of Jordan, Mu'ad ibn Jabal as, the area between Al-Arish and the Euphrates, and Ibn Abbas as, the land of Jericho. This overall region is referred to as, Ash-Sham Arabic. Al Topic Baha'i faith Baha'is consider Acre and Haifa sacred as Baha'u'llah, the founder of the Baha'i faith, was exiled to the prison of Acre from 1868 and spent his life in its surroundings until his death in 1892. In his writings he set the slope of Mount Carmel to host the shrine of the Bab which his appointed successor Abdul-Baha erected in 1909 as a beginning of the terraced gardens there. The head of the religion after him, Shoghi Effendi, began building other structures and the Universal House of Justice continued the work until the Baha'i World Center was brought to its current state as the spiritual and administrative center of the religion. Its gardens are highly popular places to visit and Mohsen McMalbaf's 2012 film The Gardener featured them. The holiest places currently for Baha'i pilgrimage are the Shrine of Baha'u'llah in Acre and the Shrine of the Bab in Haifa which are UNESCO World Heritage Sites. 
Topic see also Archaeological sites in Israel Crusader states History of the Jews in the Land of Israel Holiest sites in Islam Holy places List of significant religious sites Laws and customs of the Land of Israel in Judaism Topic References Topic External links Manuscripts from the Holy Land Chappelle Manuscript Foundation Description of the Holy Land, 1585 Map depicting the Holy Land at the time of Jesus, World Digital Library The Holy Land and Armchair Pilgrimage by Father Mitch Pakwa, S.J. about Holy Land, Jerusalem and Sinai on Serbian This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Singer, Isidore, et al., eds., 1901-1906. Palestine, Holiness of. Jewish Encyclopedia. New York, Funk and Wagnalls Company.